Good morning, class. Today we are starting Lesson 13, and this is our Reader's Notebook, Lesson 13, pages 183 and 184. Today we're working on reference materials, and it says to consult a thesaurus, and we can use our computers for that. And we're also working on finding basic words with the vowel consonant, 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 vowel pattern. All right, for reference materials today, we are not going to be using a thesaurus unless you have one at home, but you can use the thesaurus that you can find online. And I've used thesaurus.com. Most of them you can type in different things, but that's one that I've used and it's free and it's easy to use. So our reference materials today, um, our activity, it says consult a thesaurus to help you choose a word from the list to complete each series of synonyms or words that have similar meanings. Following each series is another word. Is it a synonym or an antonym of the other words? Circle it if it's an antonym. Underline it if it's a synonym. Remember, synonyms have the same or similar meanings. Antonyms are opposites. Okay, so number one, um, you can see we have grand and splendid. So grand and splendid. Well, when we look up here into our word box, what word is either a synonym or an antonym for grand and splendid? And grand and splendid mean the same thing. We're looking for a synonym, and that would be magnificent. And so you are going to write the word magnificent on the line. Then what you need to do is look at the word next to the group of words, and the word listed next to these is the word wonderful. And if it's a synonym, um, we are going to underline it. If it's an antonym, we need to circle it. Well, wonderful, splendid, magnificent, and grand all have similar meanings. So they're synonyms. And so because it's a synonym, synonym, we are going to underline it. Let's go ahead and practice one more. Okay, number one says female, blank, ladylike. Well, what word on that top is going to have a similar meaning to female and ladylike? Well, that's going to be feminine. Okay, so you're going to write the word feminine on the line. And so now you have the word feminine on the line. Female, feminine, and ladylike are synonyms. Now the word next to them is the word masculine, and masculine means manly. And because it's an antonym, meaning the opposite, masculine is the opposite, you're going to circle the word masculine. Now you can complete numbers four through eight on your own. If you, excuse me, three through eight on your own, if you would please Pause the video here and finish this page. When you're ready, you can hit play again and resume and move to page 184. Page 184 today, we have the vowel, consonant, 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 vowel pattern. And what it says is that we're writing the basic word that best completes each group. Within these, we're looking for basic words that fit as synonyms within each one of these word groups. Before you get started, you can go ahead and put an X through the challenge, number 12 through 14. So number one, we have the words storekeeper and seller. And what we're going to need to do is go through our basic word list here, and we're going to try and find a synonym for a storekeeper or a seller. And a synonym for those would be a merchant. And number 11 is the word merchant. And you will put the word merchant for number one. Number two says battle, fight. And now we have to find a synonym for battle and fight. And that's going to be our first word, which is conflict. Conflict. So you are going to go to number two and write the word conflict on the line. You are going to complete these um, synonyms here on three through 11 on your own. When you have finished pages 183 and 184, please take a picture of your work, attach it to your assignment, upload it to Teams, and turn it in. Thank you.